The fall season usually signals a shift in temperature, but here in New Orleans, it really means a pot of gumbo for us. It's a dish beloved by so many New Orleanians, and it is gaining a lot of popularity in the Big Apple. Louisiana Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser is here to explain how New York City is seeing an influence of New Orleans cuisine, and also joining us, Chef Sam Carroll. Pre appreciate both of you being with us. Lieutenant Governor, we'll start with you. You talk about tourism in Louisiana, big importance of your office. What better way to do it than with food? Absolutely. Each year we pick a theme. This year it was music. Next year it's the year of food for Louisiana, promoting our great foods all over the world. Mm -hmm. And we kick it off today with National Gumbo Day. And in New York City, all week, <laughs> up on the screens will be that great gumbo uh, that really says Louisiana and says New Orleans. So uh, great way to promote our great state. It really does put Louisiana and our cuisine in front of a lot of eyeballs. It really does. And if you take all the ingredients that you can put and make it so many different ways. It speaks volumes of the culture here in Louisiana, and it's a great dish to bring people together, especially now with the cold weather coming in. <laughs> uh, everybody's looking for a good pot of gumbo. And, and Chef, I mean, you know the rules of the road when it comes to gumbo in particular. <laughs> so what are some of the best ways that you go about doing the dish? Well, I just like to use whatever seasonal. So I'm a big yeah. fan of seafood gumbo, but um, red bean gumbo is amazing. I mean, no, it's not a seasonal <laughs> thing, but there's so many fun things that you can incorporate into your gumbo and you know there's no wrong way to make it except for the roux you know you got to make sure you got that <laughs> so are you, in, are you on the darker <laughs> side or are you the lighter side I'm darker side all the way it always um, makes a difference right yeah I love the labor of love you know keep a drink handy nearby have a good roux spoon and just be stationary for a solid 30 minutes and why do you think gumbo <laughs> is that dish that really brings a lot of folks together especially in those colder times yeah I mean also it's, it brings everybody together because it's a cultural dish I mean this mm -hmm. is the all-star cuisines and all the influences from West Africa Africa and French cuisines and Spanish cuisine. So it's like all of the greats in one dish. You know, a lot of folks may think, you know, on a tourism standpoint, how does food really talk about tourism? But Louisiana knows how it, how it works. You know, we just got back. Uh, Samantha was in Japan. I was in India. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the gumbo and National Gumbo Day. And of course, in India, they're very vegetarians. So they were talking about all the things they could throw in their gumbo. We showed them a few recipes. <laughs> so it really does sell Louisiana around the world. And we'll be attending all the food festivals around the world for the next year. And those people at those festivals love food. And surely the place to come is Louisiana. I was going to ask you, when you travel not just the country, but also the world, how often do people talk about or inquire about Louisiana cuisine? It really, it's the talk of the town, mm -hmm. uh, our music. Uh, and our food are the two top things they want to know about. They want to know where they can go to get the, the gumbos and the muffalata mm -hmm. and all the things unique to Louisiana. So we're really blessed to have so many tools in our toolbox that other states would die for to promote their state. So it's something that really sells, gets people hungry to come to Louisiana. And Sam, why is it so important to put gumbo on menus as staples here in Louisiana? Well, everybody does gumbo their own way. Yeah. And so there's no one same gumbo. And I even know people who do not like to cook, but they know how to make a gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's just that universal dish that everyone can gather around and enjoy. And usually it's a lot of those recipes that are passed down over generations, exactly. right? Exactly. And yeah, there's family ties, there's history. I mean, it's just, it's Louisiana in a pot. And do you put the <laughs> potato salad on the side or do you put your yeah. gum potato salad in the gumbo? Well, I'm not that's always, a big, that's <laughs> always a big argument around the t uh, kitchen table. Uh, I put mine in the gumbo. I actually mm -hmm. don't like it at all. So oh. I don't want it on the plate. <laughs> and that's allowed. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah. You can do it. We can start a support group if we, if we need to. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> what would you say are some of the other really cuisines that really speak volumes on, on the national level? Yeah, there's so many, you know, jambalaya, uh, all the etouffees, and that's just like gumbo. You can make them so many different ways mm -hmm. and so many different ingredients. One's hot and spicy, uh, one's milder. You can just, uh, you can fit anybody's taste buds, mm -hmm. and, and that's great. Think that's also part of our culture, just how we are as a people. So mm -hmm. many things coming together to make one great dish. We are that cultural melting pot that you see here in Louisiana. Exactly. We get it all the time. Exactly. Uh, why is that so important for you guys to make sure that gumbo keeps continuing on as one of those mainstream dishes here in the States? Eh? Well, it's back from when? It's, it started? It's, yeah, 1806 was yeah. the first time it was recorded. Um, and I didn't know that. Yeah, and uh, so it's just one of those things. It's one of the oldest dishes recorded that we have here in Louisiana, and it just all came from all the settlers mm -hmm. and everybody coming over here so well, where did you start learning your recipes me oh gosh from family friends yeah. watching the food network I mean <laughs> <laughs> I'm mainly just one of my fondest memories is just my mom cooking uh, 
cooking gumbo on Christmas Eve, actually. Yeah. And just that smell of the roux, and it just gets you started well, for the day. Well, we certainly look forward to having it uh, advertised there in New York City as well. <laughs> right. Appreciate you both being with us Thank on this you. National Gumbo Day. And of course, make sure you are celebrating by visiting one of your local restaurants or one of your favorite restaurants.